Leia here from LeiaForSci.com and in this short video I want to show you how to recognize and understand the ortho, meta and para position for a substituted benzene and then I'll show you the monster trick so you can easily remember these positions. We'll start off with a benzene ring and give it a substituent X. Now this X does not represent a halogen, it represents any substituent that you will see on benzene. If we consider the substituent as sitting on carbon number one, we have the option of going clockwise or counterclockwise to the next position, which will be carbon number two. If we put a substituent on carbon number two, this is considered the ortho substituent or the ortho position. Ortho simply implies that we're one carbon away from our parent or our primary substituent. If we move over clockwise or counterclockwise to carbon three, meaning we have the primary substituent, one carbon in between, and then another substituent, this is considered the meta position. And finally, if we look at the carbon directly opposite one, which is carbon number four, placing a substituent there gives me the para substituent. So to quickly recap, if we have a substituent on carbon one and two, these are considered ortho to each other, if we have a substituent on one and three, these are considered meta to each other. And if we have substituents on one and four, these are considered para to each other. But don't think your substituents have to be lined up the way you see it drawn here. I can put a substituent on any carbon on benzene ring and then randomly place another substituent onto the ring. It doesn't matter which one I consider the primary in determining ortho, meta, or para because these classifications simply tell me how many carbons I have in between or how far away they are in reference to each other. If I call the purple one the primary carbon, this would have been the ortho position and that means that the green X is on the meta position in comparison to the purple X. And lastly, I promised you a fun trick that will help you remember. So we'll start with the green X to represent our primary substituent. We'll add the ortho position. We'll add an M for the meta position and a P at the para position. Now watch this. We'll add some eyes. We'll extend the mouth. We'll make his tongue bigger. And this is the ortho meta para monster that will help you remember how to classify di-substituted benzene rings. Be sure to join me in the next few videos where I take you through ortho, meta, and para directors, including their activating, deactivating effects, and resonance structures. You can catch my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution by visiting my website, layaforsci.com slash E-A-S. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.